Hi guys, welcome to another video for Jewel For Real. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for homeschool products. This is my all about spelling, all about reading curriculum that's being sent to me. Do you see what's inside? Mommy's excited. Are you excited? Am I gonna use it for you too? Should I teach you reading? Yeah. Okay. All about spelling, the program that takes the struggle out of spelling. That little tote bag, isn't that cute? And that's Brody's claim on me. She's claiming things already. <laughs> All right, so they packaged it very secure. This is a All About Spelling review box. There it is as it's open. I guess you take the photos out, but oh, here's the little cards to stay organized. So you get that. You just place these in here. Put this on. And it just helps keep your cards organized. I have an all about reading box. Just stay organized with that. I'm sure this is the same kind of thing. So you open it up. Ugh. There we go. Telegram cards, word cards, viewfinder bookmark. All right, so we got two boxes for all about spelling and reading. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, and there's another All About Spelling review box. We got two of them. Help keep us organized. Anything to keep me organized, I'm all for. All About Reading Level 1. This is going to be for Brody. Because we're going to teach him how to read this year, right? And me. And you too? We should teach you? Yeah. She's three. I don't know how that will go. But we got this Level 1 All About Reading teacher's manual. This is the teacher's manual. Multi-sensory program step-by-step -step lesson Mom, plans. If I could bring that to water park and use it. No, you're not taking this to a water park. And we have here all about reading student packet for level one. So this will be something that my third child out of five, he is five years old, he's going to kindergarten. He's going to be using this this year. And I've never used All About Reading before. This is new to me. So I encourage you, if you're not subscribed or ready to subscribe to my channel, because I am going to be doing multiple videos on this stuff to let you know what I think of it. I'm gonna, um, later in the year, I'm gonna show how you use it and show how it's working for us, what we like about it, pros and cons. Stay tuned for that in the coming months. Yeah, this is gonna be for Brody, the student packet. All right, so we got here, it looks like color-coded letter tiles. Those are used to stick on a dry erase board. They're actually magnets, and you put, you just kind of take them apart, and you're able to, you know, for, for so for this program, I know it uses a lot of the letter tiles to help learn the concepts. And they also have a Phonogram Sounds app. And some actual Phonogram cards, like to stay, stay organized. Those are the same kind of things to go into the box for the reading, for All About Reading, just like the All About Spelling box. And there are more. They also have here, readers. These are a collection of readers for All About Reading for Brody. Cobweb the Cat. The Runt Pig and Run Bug Run. So there are readers to learn how to do it. And like I said, I've never done this before, so this is new to me. I have to look over things and see how to do it, see how to teach it, and see what we think of it. And now here is the All About Spelling. We have All About Spelling Level 1 Teacher's Manual, and we have All About Spelling Level 1 Student Packet. And that we got two of because we're, I'm gonna teach level one to Talia and Cohen at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna be teaching them level one at the same time because they basically say that even though Talia's going into sixth grade and Cohen's going into third grade, they say that it's better to kind of start with the basics because it really teaches, it really teaches the English language. 
So, it was, for instance, it will teach you that there's always a C in replace of an at the S sound when there's an IE that follows. So, or, you know, a Y that follows. So, it will teach you different rules of the English language that once you know, it's easier to spell. And like I said, I gotta look over stuff just to know what I know about things more, but I'm excited to try this program because I feel like I didn't learn good spelling and reading when I was little, and I would really like to teach them the groundwork that goes into it. I'm excited to try that for the very first time for spelling and reading. Never tried it before. For Cohen, we taught him to read with Hooked on Phonics and Bob Books, which went well, but Brody is altogether different. He likes more hands-on. So I think this might be good, a good option for us. We're gonna give it a try. And for Talia, she tested a little bit below um, her level for spelling. No big deal, I know she didn't get caught up, but she tested a little bit below what she should for her grade level when we got her tested this year, because for our state, they require testing. So we need to get kind of caught up on the spelling and you know reading comprehension so i'm hoping this will do it to get her caught up because she needs more of the groundwork i also got sent another packet that i'm going to be opening is for our history and some of our history actually we're going to be doing story of the world for history and supplementing to with this what's in here let me open it for you and show you Ugh. Apparently I need to work out. Ah, oh my God. Whoa, looky here what I got. It is time travelers. Well, they're either called, so they kind of have two names. They're either called Homeschool in the Woods, and if you look them up on christianbooks.com, where I order a lot of my homeschool curriculum, they're called Homeschool in the Woods. But on Amazon or other places, if you look them up, it goes by Time Travelers. Type in Time Travelers or School in the Woods. You can use this as a, as a history curriculum just by itself. But I'm deciding this year to do a story of the world for history and supplementing with this stuff because they have a lot of stuff that you can pull out of here to kind of go in with story of the world to make it like more fun and interesting for the kids and I'm gonna give it a whirl. So I'm not gonna be using all these CDs. It's actually not DVDs. It's not a DVD program. What it is is CDs that you put onto your computer and, when, and it basically has projects, like fun, hands-on projects for the kids to work on that you can do and other different things, like little games for the kids. So you just kinda of like, you know, like if you're gonna supplement with it, you can kinda of pull what you want from it. But for this year, we're doing Story of the World for history and supplementing with these guys. I'm excited to give these guys a try and stay tuned over the course of this year. Like I said, I plan on putting out a lot more homeschool videos for you guys. And some of them are gonna be reviews on this and reviews on all that spelling and all that reading. And some other things that we're going to try for the very first time. We've never tried um, the only thing we've ever tried for history is my father's world. My father's world and just pulling up things on our own. So I'm very interested in trying something new this year, just kind of mixing it up. So these are things I, all these things I've never tried before. And you'll get my honest review and honest opinion and how we use it in our curriculum later this year. So subscribe if you're not already. I look forward to having you join Jewel For Real and comment below if you used it, what you thought of it, um, if you have any questions for me, um, or just anything. I look forward to hearing from you. Just, um, also, any ideas you have on upcoming videos for me as well, I take that into consideration. Until next time, guys, fly high and dream big.